Hey guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Let me finish this one review that actually was pending. Uh, this is one of the last of the samples that I was gifted to by Fragrance Bangladesh, Fragrance BD. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Shubha Bhai and Panthu Bhai once again. So this is the last one of them I had received seven previously and I reviewed six already. So they were really kind enough. So once again, uh, you guys are awesome. Keep doing uh, awesome work and uh, Shubha Bhai especially taking wonderful pictures. And uh, you know, wish you all the best. Keep serving the community really like the way you are powerhouse okay extremely awesome people so this perfume actually is very old perfume but the sample i have i believe it's not from that time this fragrance was released in 1930 and so 1930s that time you know obviously you know like who was born i don't remember who was born now uh, so they say apparently this fragrance hasn't been reformulated it still maintains the same uh, formulation so let's look at it and the sample it's gonna be uh, review is gonna be Joy, not Joy, <laughs> Jean Patou by, uh, what am I saying, Joy, me by Jean Patou, he, they made this fragrance for me, name me and this is name after me, yeah, so yeah, you guys know that's not true, so this EDP concentration and 1.5 official sample, 1.5 ml, and I was meaning to do this for a very long time, so here is that bottle that looks like really beautiful, it looks really pretty and premium. I've seen some reviews, the bottle looks really awesome. So they have apparently um, some vintage bottles and also they have some modern bottles. So this is the ATP concentration and I believe they come in 30, 50 and 100 ml, three bottle sizes. Prices on these are a little bit expensive, I think about, I think 100 something dollars for the big bottle and the smaller bottles get around 70 to 80 bucks around that. So I really like the, even the sample looks really premium. They put it very nicely, like very elegant and chic, okay. So these fragrance I think made in France and uh, yeah, not, nothing much. Um, they have uh, released this as a floral fragrance. It's a purely floral fragrance. So I have yeah, applied it in my hand right here, uh, but it's kind of tame now, but uh, let me put some of it on. I hate this depth samples, by the way, because they're very inconvenient, you know, taking of them, taking them off this thing. You know, sometimes you can actually break the bottle, but anyway, uh, let's put some on and then talk about it. So yeah, the sprayers are really nice. You can get a nice distribution, but this is also okay. You can smell them, no problem. So I got about enough for my review. And this fragrance, uh, let me give you some information before I start um, from Fragrantica. So this fragrance was this one point I really think we should emphasize. That is like this fragrance was supposed to be uh, um, what? supposed to be the most expensive perfume right at the time of Great Depression in 1929. This is referring to Fragrantica. And uh, when the market of luxury fashion crashed and Jean Patou's house could survive only through perfumes. So this is when they released this. And based on the perfumes, they actually took attempt to survive and they did. So that's one thing I found very interesting. And they have a lot of other information. It's, you can go and read. I'll put the link below. So yeah, beautiful. I mean, uh, the, the description it really matches how it smells like so the dominant nose notes in this are jasmine tube rose uh, rose and ylang ylang and i think there's some musk sandalwood yeah those are the basic notes six uh five seven total seven notes so you can smell actually every single note from this fragrance you know this sample when you smell it first thing i'll tell you this is a perfume built for very high class women and one thing is if you do not enjoy women's perfumes as a man you can skip it and the things even ladies if you do not like florals this is a heavy heavy floral fragrance and it's very posh premium um, but this fragrance is not for everybody it has a little bit mature vibe to it it's very classy very alluring and it doesn't smell like very uh, nowadays whatever is released as a night out you know naughty kind of like you know women undressing and stuff this one doesn't ev evoke that feeling it smells really uh, posh and floral from the word go uh, I definitely get the jasmine, I definitely get the tube rose, and I'm a big fan of tube rose. I bought a few days back, like a few months back, Mansara's Wild Python, that was a beautiful tube rose bomb, but uh, it was a bit too powdery for my taste, so I sold it. Second fragrance I think I'm reminded of from these fragrances, Chanel Number no. 5 kind of fragrances, very classy, I think similar time. <clears throat> so this one has that classy feel, if you like Shalimar, this is a classy, but I prefer this over Chanel Number no. 5 and Shalimar it's really smooth i don't know if maybe they change the formation a little bit it's less uh, powdery perhaps than before but it's really long lasting the performance on this is absolutely gorgeous it's 
it lasts on a, on my skin even like dry skin on mine of mine it lasts a very long time i would think it's a great perfume to give to your mother or someone uh, you know like uh, your mother's age like your mother in law you can gift it to your someone like your elder sister or your aunt you know you can give it to any of them they're going to really like it however you also can gift it to your wife as a special anniversary gift because that's what it smells like it's like after wedding you get into commitment and you have kids and you just give her something special on her birthday or anniversary this is where i sit amazingly beautiful florals you know this fragrance also reminds me of uh, one fragrance from Givenchy i think it's called Amarige i'll put the link below all of the fragrances you can try it out but that one i have it on my shirt i tried it yesterday <sighs> they smell a little bit different dry down but it's in the similar ballpark but Amarige is really beautiful too it's very underrated Givenchy produce some great quality fragrance i tell you and another fragrance i have actually in my collection is called Sicily by Mansera this fragrance and this the the tube rose note and ylang ylang i think more of ylang ylang whatever the florals in this it reminds me of this okay so they are kind of similar in that way florals so sicily is beautiful grapefruit but that ylang ylang the florals some people find it a bit feminine I, absolutely gorgeous what a beautiful fragrance both of these are wonderful so <coughs> sorry so if you are looking for something uh, let's say this is a nice uh, for perhaps cold weather you know i can say it doesn't smell like a summer perfume not much fresh but the florals are really like a floral bouquet and it's very high class it's very french it's very french vanilla and musk i am smelling vanilla i don't know why musk and vanilla always smell like similar to me but i am getting like sort of like combination of maybe perhaps that sandalwood is the creamy sandalwood that's making me think it's part of vanilla because it has sweet tone as well so this fragrance it's really beautiful it's luxurious it's for classy ladies you know you can imagine your uh, university teacher professor she would be wearing this who has a phd i'm not trying to discriminate any woman can wear anything even if you are a man you can wear this it's really like gorgeous sort of a perfume <coughs> sorry a little bit cold but uh, who is it not for people who do not like florals people who do not like uh, like very sort of a old style perfume like a classy way this is very classy perfume um, this is maybe perhaps something good to wear in an opera house you know or you can go like a classy film you know like from back in the time you're watching like a Casablanca my favorite film of all time if you're wearing this and you have a nice sort of a night date followed by a dinner plan this you just put like three sprays on you that's it literally that's gonna last a long time so I really love it I think I'll look for one bottle to give to my mom at some point um, this would be a great gift. It's really high class. I have reviewed quite a lot of women's perfume. Uh, most of them are flirty, uh, seductive, so everything. This fragrance is more of a classy woman. You know, she's a, she actually is like everything, <laughs> if I can make sense. It's very, very beautiful. It's very playful. The jasmine really comes out and tube rose is very fresh florals. It doesn't smell like uh, florals have gone really aged and stuff. The florals are really fresh. White florals, right? Uh, from the beginning and it just goes all day about you're gonna get 10 hours plus from this fragrance okay so overall this fragrance how much i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna give this a perfect 10 for women's perfume this is very classy this is still relevant it's not old school as in like like dated doesn't have that feeling i would prefer this over many of the current fragrances out there in the market for women this is a perfect 10 give it a try very nice fragrance uh, check out Fragrantica link and check out some other reviews. Thanks once again, Fragrance BD, for sending me this wonderful sample. Really enjoyed. I uh, did not wear like all of it, but I'm going to keep it sometimes just for rainy days. I think that would be perfect to wear this kind of perfume. So thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. And tomorrow, we're going to hit the back. We're going to be back with the men's perfume, the ones that I got so far. We're going to start reviewing them. All right. I'll see you soon. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.